Concord, look worse than deadlock and alpha. Face full of soot, firewalk, alfalfa. Ratio negative, gaming's healing. GDC developers reeling. Sale generic, dated, ugly, fat, black, queer with big chins. Doubly corporate, soulless, Reddit, cringe. Blokes who wish they had a minge. Guardians of ESG. Pronoun hero, PvP. Silent Hill and DEI. Hit detection, you know why. Two number nines and a number nine large. Number six with extra dip. Manly woman, more inclusive. Shit grease on game journal lips. Nick Calandra, second wind. Silent sing opposition. Mass reporting, smash JT. Sides back up, apparently. That just happened. Check, please. He's right behind me, isn't he? Get Swifty, go for the high score. PlayStation took a shit on the floor. Woke slop, DOA. Ten pool failure, hermit gay. Cope and seed, we will not buy. Cry. Aren't you the guy who tried to? Change our words define. Guess it's not just lazy, but crazy. I hope investors tan your behind. Hello, beta testers. Please like and subscribe, comment or correct me below. Within the moments after Weathering Waves went online, 40 million in revenue was generated. That's the Jiggle Physics Waifu competition. Timu's Overwatch 3 Guardians of the ESG is the arena shooter from Wish, just in time for 2019. 12 minutes out of your 30 minute showcase. Yeah, that's what this mostly cinematic presentation will take. Why? <laughs> well, it's because of what I've been saying for years now. Sony doesn't want to make games, they want to make movies, TV shows, mostly experiences where it'll keep pausing and then you have this controller that doesn't look like a normal remote, but it serves the same function. All those buttons are just to unpause. The cinematic that keeps playing, the cutscenes that they're pitching to you like it's a huge login incentive. Every week when you log into Concord, you will be welcomed with a new cinematic vignette that will give you a chance to see our characters off the job. Wow, the pronoun-centric hero shooter is really interested in selling you on its knockoff guardians with quippy Reddit humor, and the DEI sensitivity police associated with these guys will be deciding against pretty women and breasts because that's against ethics or unfair to some people, you know, who are, have recently decided that I'm the other one now. The dated uninteresting and bizarrely unfinished looking project that likely had way more funding than Helldivers is hilariously not free to play and is dead on arrival if I do say so myself. But if you subscribe, I'll be glad to eat my words if I fall into the parallel universe where I can be wrong about this. Fireworks Studios, damn, sorry, Firewalk? Don't you say they're going to be taking a walk? Is that what you're going to be saying? Firewalk Studios Concord is only part of the laugh that gaming needed right now. I saw someone asking the question, is it funnier to take five years to make a hero shooter or five years to make a remaster of a PS4 game? Decide in the comment section below. You know, they canceled that Last of Us multiplayer factions crap, but they kept Concord. I don't care about either of them, I just thought it's some information that you might like to remember. I was genuinely excited about Crazy Taxi and Jet Set Radio remakes, thinking they can't screw that up, but Hit Detection has Sega Partner too. And if you remember a game that was cancelled before it came out called Hyenas, it was proudly featuring a playable drag queen that was explosively noteworthy to me because of how much more they were allowed to present feminine as a man in drag than normal digital women are allowed to and following stellar blades release you see just how hard they seethe at the very idea of a digital woman being attractive let alone scantily clad stellar blade top sales for april 
and was an exercise in pulling teeth specifically for the identity politics obsessed games journalists who demonstrate their hypocrisy and bias habitually. The people in gaming silent about Second Wind and Kotaku's behavior impress me because cry bullies that believe that attacking people's funding in their de-platform and cancellation attempts will result in silencing people simply highlighting what they have publicly and factually said, nigga. The squirming and reacting only provokes the Streisand, and online I've described it as gaming's biggest and easiest rake to avoid stepping on so soon after this dimwit sucre baby kindred loser was so attention starved and emotionally just devastated that they needed to talk shit on Akira Toriyama fresh off his death, knowing that they'll never create anything that impacts people as profoundly as his works did, highlighting not only Kindred's ignorance considering the Indian inspiration for Popo, but the paradox of the sensitivity brainwashing cult that was Sweet Baby Ink's existence when black and Hispanic people never needed Saiyans to match our skin color to love or appreciate Dragon Ball Z. Everyone that disagrees with these people is transphobic or racist or whatever fucking word they're hoping will just invalidate your credibility so everything that you say doesn't matter and also you're not a person so we can go after you, right? They are the ones dividing and their warped definitions, misunderstandings, and hurt feelings have them facing correction daily. Whether via community notes, comments on videos, or just people literally making content to laugh at the errors out of these emotional, rage-baiting narcissists who pretend that they're not only a victim, but they're relevant for anything other than their less-than-professional failure to do any real fucking work in their capacity as a goddamn games journalist. But I digress. Half a decade ago, Kotaku is accusing Asian games of racial slurs, and when I looked up the Kotaku writer behind it, their name, Laura, an assumed name because they were a transgender person who lived a specific life and then decided to live this other way, you know, they couldn't be bothered to validate before accusing Nintendo, who would later go on to blacklist Kotaku, trying to tone it down here, forgive me. Because what mattered to them was attention. I'm seeing that same shit now out of Second Wind's Nick Calandra. So thirsty for Grum's pussy that he's out here just believing anybody hurling something in the direction of Grum's because, oh, he's targeting this guy that I don't like, so I don't even need to check it. Don't need to validate it. So they're taking your ass for a ride. There goes your credibility. Watch it as it goes. I don't hate any of these people and obviously don't wish harm on any of them or to deplatform or defund them as viciously and fucking childishly as the emotional wet panty motherfuckers that these niggas are in their echo chambers, right, brother? Because you can't take anybody talking about you or even literally posting pictures, recording screenshots, nigga, of what you said. People are observing now how informing makes people enemies to entire factions because the business of some of these people, excuse me, is deception in the gaming space. All I wanted was a decent game to play where the bitches weren't ugly, but I guess that's a lot to ask for. You know, you're asking for my money. You're demanding that I, uh, I don't know, accept your new normal for a modern audience. Something's got to give. So we'll see you after the layoffs when I guess we can repeat our terms and see who is around and how they respond to that. Can't wait to play Path of Exile with you guys. You know, a terrible bed has been made in the gaming space and uh, we cannot be expected to pay to lie in it. Some of you may have uh, only been offended recently by how deliberately ugly or uninspired some of the efforts have been. Whatever the reason that's led you or us here, we're here now. And, oh, okay, let's just notice what we need to notice so that whatever needs to not get funded could not get funded. And that's it. We don't even need to talk about this anymore. You know what I mean? Just go, there it is. You know what I mean? And we're done. Patrons, beta testers, I love you. Subscribe, leave a comment, and tell me your predictions for next week's show. Like and share this video to get it out to the wealthy that would want to buy my voice to weaponize my audience. It's either that or you're going to need to clear out the wish list. You're not, you're not doing that, man. Do the easy thing. That's what you're about, isn't it? Hmm.
I'm gonna bet clicking the button's even too hard for you. Oh, can't get it up. Oh, I'm sorry. Stop. Can't get it up. I'm engineering a better baby. You gotta rip me the right way.